Hey everyone, it's Trey and Damien, and welcome to the February 1st edition of DSMS TV News. Auditions for Alice in Wonderland play are on Monday, February 6th, or Tuesday, February 7th, from 2.45 to 4.10 in room C1. Callbacks will be on Wednesday, February 8th, and Thursday, February 9th, from 2.45 to 4.10. Students who are being called back, please be available both days. Auditions and callbacks will consist of cold reads from the script. A script is available in the media center to read before and after school. If you would like to audition for the play or work backstage with hair slash makeup, costumes, sound, lights, or set, you must see Mrs. Tutnik Magbits in C1 before or after school for a production packet to be filled out and brought back to the auditions. Hey 8th graders, tomorrow during lunch the Shadow Mountain High School ROTC members will be here. Please look for their table in the courtyard. They'll have good information about the program and cool stuff. For cross country, the girls team placed second and the boys team placed first. They did awesome. Now to the guy. Hey DSMS, there are no birthdays today, but we forgot our very own Miss Ponter on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Happy late birthday, Miss Ponter. Good morning, Desert Shadows Middle School students, all 950 of you. This is Mr. H in the news studio with a question directed towards all of our students, and that is, how are we treating one another? How are we treating one another? Yesterday, we had Not My Kid here to talk about bullying, and we had time to reflect on how are we treating one another? This is maybe the single most important question that you have in a large organization. With 950 students, every day you have so many interactions with others, so many conversations, so many times to walk by somebody in the hallway, in the classroom, in your six or seven different classes that you have over the course of the day. How are we treating one another? I hope that yesterday you had the opportunity to reflect back on moments of challenge, moments of disrespect that maybe you were a part of, either the victim or the aggressor or a bystander. Bullying happens. It happens in every school and especially in middle, middle school. And it's important to think back and reflect on how we handle ourselves during those moments of challenge, during times when there may be disrespect. Often these are hidden from the faculty and staff, from the school principal, on Monday, Mr. Rosenberg and Mr. Ms. Chin were here and they told you about ways that you can report and tell and anonymously report and tell about challenges that happen with bullying. And that is all well and good. We encourage reporting. It's the right thing to do. But I also want you to think about the power that you have as students. Because I'll tell you this, the majority of bullying intervention happens not by the teachers and the parents, but by students that are standing right there. So when you see disrespect, when you see meanness that happens on campus, you have the opportunity to stand up as a bystander and say, that's not right, or you're being mean, or to somehow have the back of the victim. And I encourage you to think about and role play sometimes or think about how you can handle situations in which you confront meanness on campus. Because it's really important and it reflects on how we uh, view our day at school. I want you to support those who may be challenged. When you see tears, um, when you see meanness, find ways how you can talk to the person who's being aggressive and support and encourage uh, those who are feeling that kind of attack. Also these, as we know, happen on our, on our cell phones. And so just like you can say something back to the person who may be verbally abusive to another, you can also write an encouraging note or message to those who may be under the attack with an internet um, challenge. Again, I encourage you to report these to the office and to the structures we have, but also find ways as students that you can help support those who are struggling and help push back against those who may be exhibiting bullying behavior. Thank you for listening to me with this message. We're, We're back. back! High school registration for our soon-to-be ninth grade students will begin on Monday, February 6th, and eighth grade classroom assignments for registration will be posted on the media center windows on Thursday. Please check the list to know where your registration presentation will be. Eighth graders should report to their regular first period class on Monday morning. 
Mr. Hummert will release you to your presentation locations after attendance and announcements. Also, everyone, I'd like to apologize for playing the accordion the other day. I truly feel that it was totally uncalled for and very cringeworthy. That's all for today, DSMS. Have an awesome Wednesday! <laughs> that I'm at an all-time <laughs> No, 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 no,